Let's talk RC lawnmowers for a second. Ever since I was a kid watching Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, I knew one day I was going to have to have an RC lawnmower of my own. Well, one day it finally happened. And here's the results. It's not much to look at, but it's functional. And it keeps me from sweating on the hot Florida days. It started out life as a wheelchair and a regular push mower. I started getting the wheelchair taken apart and seeing what I had to work with. In the end, you really just need the wheelchair gearboxes and motors. Um, that's pretty much all you're going to use from that. The control unit, none of that stuff applies here. Everything else is either drone components via receivers and transmitter or just any other type of receiver transmitter setup you can find. There are ways to set this up with a pistol grip setup, but you'll have to buy like a dual controller output setup from like Amazon. I decided to go with dual controllers from Rev Robotics and I ended up blending the channels together on my drone remote. Don't ask me how I did it. Go online, there's plenty of videos. The end result was a one stick operation on the drone remote to the lawnmower and the gas engine operates as it would normally. I have everything you would need for your electronic setup. There's a kill switch on the back, a voltmeter, on off kill switch for the gas engine itself as well as the stock charge port for the wheelchair. I was able to keep using the original setup. It's still running a 24 volt system and therefore will use the stock wheelchair charger. It currently has dual seven amp hour batteries in it and it will almost cut my entire yard. So I will be upgrading the batteries to maybe some nine amp hours just to get me that last little bit that I need. Beyond that, I'm pretty happy with the results. It will probably keep evolving as time goes on. The only other thing I wish I had that this doesn't currently is an adjustable height setup. It's pretty much set at what I cut my grass at, so it works perfectly fine for me. Again, I used an automotive kill switch. Anything less than that will pretty much melt on you so you don't want to do that due to the amp draw of the motors themselves but you'll see I have my voltmeter kill switch for the gas engine the main kill switch for the actual drive components and then the charger port on the right dual spark controllers side by side dual 7 amp hour batteries and in the top there of the screen tucked away is the RX board for the nano receiver from TBS Voltage, gas kill switch, onboard electronics kill switch, and charge port. Pretty simple setup. It's pretty much an RC car at the end of the day. Anybody can pull it off. It doesn't look like my thumb is moving very much, and you're right, it's not. This is all adjustable in my remote and I can use Expo or whatever setting I need to to soften it up or make the input sharper. Again, I use the stock wheelchair electronics um, tray to house all the new electronic setup that I was going to use for a more factory look. Some people have suggested putting the handles back on it so it looks like a runaway mower. But beyond that, I just enjoy all the smiles my neighbors give me when they go by. I may revisit the idea of putting FPV back on it again, but I ended up using that camera in VTX for another project, so it's off for now and I just mow from whatever point in my yard has shade. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I hope this gives a pretty good breakdown of the mower itself. Um, I wouldn't go the route of trying to find a wheelchair. I would suggest that you go on eBay and try to find motor gearboxes. They're like 50, 70 bucks for a pair, and you can just buy those and not have to deal with the wheelchair. But what was nice with the wheelchair is I used a lot of the framing for some of the metal that I needed. How fast does it go? Fast enough. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.
Let me know what you think.